All right. I just recently uh, picked this uh, 590 uh, Mossberg sh uh, Shockwave up, and uh, I'm really excited to get it. I waited a year uh, to get this in because they just were stopped making them. Uh, they were unavailable. Nobody has them. So I uh, last year, uh, about January, February, I got on a wait list when they were sold out of them. And, uh, and like I said, I've been waiting a year. But um, the first thing that I noticed is awesome. I mean, amazing uh, tool or gun or home defense. Uh, but the, uh, the, the grip, which I like, I like the bird's eye uh, grip, but it is a little, um, little slippery and my hands get sweaty, especially in the summertime. So instead of adding talon grips or I searched to find more of a rubberized uh, grip, and in my 30 minute search, I found nothing. I turned up nothing, even Hogue. I have a Hogue, Hogue grips on some of my, my AR-15 and some of my other firearms. And I really like them, but they don't offer anything. And so I'm gonna try this technique. Um, this is using a soldering iron. And I just have one of these. This is probably 15 years old uh, with a little roundish uh, blunt tip. And I've already started, uh, heat it up. And then you just come in and you just uh, you stipple the grip. You just burn a little a uh, little hole in it. Let me see if I can get this to come around. See if I can just show you if it'll come up on video. I don't have a ton of light in here. You just touch it lightly. You got to get it hot. And you just you know briefly touch, and you're just burning. A texture. Let me get the camera over here a little closer. You just do this a whole bunch of times. I think it's better than buying, you know, thirty dollar or twenty dollar um, these tape that goes on there that doesn't stick super long and uh, you don't know what you're going to get uh, when you get it this is going to be super grippy and it may be too grippy for some but you can probably come in with some uh, sandpaper and just take some of that bite off i mean i already felt it and it feels really really good and then you just go back and randomly, uh, just so it doesn't look like. You're doing a pattern, but, uh, and then I've just marked a line around the, the base right here. And I'm not going to go all the way around and you can just get pretty close to a line that you've drawn so that it looks professionally done. I mean, you're just touching it for a second. I mean, if you do it longer, it burns a, a bigger hole and it'll be more rough. I already found that out. Uh, if you just really quickly bump it on there, it'll just be a little bit, almost nothing. But if you go a little bit longer, it'll be deeper. And if you go even longer, it'll be deeper. And then it'll raise the area, the displacement of the, of the plastic. And so it'll, it'll like I said, it'll, it'll be even more texturized. But this will change the game, and it's for free if you have a soldering iron. This particular one works really well. I said I've, I've had this one probably even maybe 25 years. And I just got this uh, technique. I remember seeing it on Glocks and uh, some of the uh, polymer pistols. Oh man, you can freaking feel that like crazy. That's going to be so much better. And if it's too harsh, like I said, you can go in with light sandpaper and, and sand that down. You could even probably go in with this tool and lightly do that. But um, that might come in a future video when I get more experience. I, this is my first time doing it, but I don't know if you can see that. Let me see how close I can get the camera and if it focuses. Really small. You can just do really, really, uh, really, really quick and small. 
like that and do it really small and you would you wouldn't notice as, as much but it will definitely texturize uh, the plastic so hopefully um, you found this video informative a lot of Glock people do this uh, custom people that customize Glocks and they do that to the whole polymer frame and it, and it makes it look cool and it gives it more grip for sure okay I am done now with the complete grip and uh, it came out well I think like I said it's super grippy so it's kind of like maybe that ultra grippy talon tape but you could take sandpaper and knock that down just a little bit if that's too grippy I'm not really sure that I want to do that just yet we'll see how it goes but it is rock hard like the plastic handle is and uh, I think it came out really, really well for a first time. Okay, so I did knock it down just a little bit um, with um, see uh, some wet sandpaper, 150 grit. I've used this for some other things, so it's not super aggressive. Uh, and then I knocked that down, and it looks like a million dollars. And I got a little bit more light to show the gun. But that's what it looks like. Still very textured, just not as, as rough. I may have taken it down just a little bit too much, but it's so much better than uh, it being just the, the stock uh, smooth plastic that's here on the end way way better way more grippy um, so I think you'll like it if you want more grip and I definitely like it so there you go other than that thanks for viewing hope that helps somebody stokes the fire and gets uh, some ideas pumping in your head but I love it it's gonna be super grippy okay bye bye